Hi and welcome. Feel free to go to the following website and you will have access to an Abacus applet that is online which is also downloadable for free. So here it is and there's many different versions of the Abacuses. Uh, here we have the Japanese Soroban but feel free to go here and check out other ones such as the Chinese Sanpan and there's many others as you can see. But we will use once again the Japanese Soroban. At the top you'll notice one bead in each column and four beads below. The top beads are known as the heavenly beads and the beads at the bottom as the earthly beads. The bar in the middle is where we will move the beads so that we can start, start representing numbers. The last two columns in this applet are after the decimal point such as the tenth and hundredth place value and here we would have the ones, tens, hundreds and so on. So as you can see we can change the base to maybe 9, 8, 7, 5, and so on. You can play around with that. But I'll keep that at 10 and this at 10 as well. We can also make it bigger or smaller. I'll keep that at 13 for now. So let's say we want to represent the number 1. All you would have to do is move this up and there we have 1. And here you can double check that that is correct. And even more simply, you can enter any number here and it will form the number on the abacus. But let's do it this way. So this is the number 1 this is the number two, the number three, the number four. So as I'm sure you figured out, all of these represent one. Now at the top, this actually represents five. So as you can see, that's the number five. And this is six, seven, eight, nine. So once again, that's the ones value, place value. And what about the tens, which would be over here? So if we add this, we actually have 19. And so if we move all of this, we have 10. So it is pretty straightforward and you can experiment with that. So let's try the number 573 and 24 hundredths. So here we have 5. Oh, and I went over 1 too much, but here is 570. So we need a 5 and 2 of them to represent 7. A 3, 573 and 24 hundredths. So here is 2 and here is 4. So 573 and 24 hundredths. As you can see it matches and that's just the basics of it so feel free to play along and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it.